Before we get into today's video, I did want to let you guys know that this video is for educational purposes only. Please remember to be kind to everybody everywhere in your everyday life, in your home, in the grocery store, and especially in the comments section down below. Please do not show hate to anybody anywhere. Good morning, my lovelies, my beauties, my friends. My name is Christina and welcome to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. I really hope that you will subscribe, stick around, take a chance and hearing some things that I have to say. And if you are a returning subscriber, y'all already know, y'all are my babies. So good morning, good morning, good morning. How is everybody doing today? I hope you all are having an amazing day. I hope everybody is having a wonderful week and feeling well. In today's video, we're gonna be talking about a situation that just recently happened and there's so many like missing parts. It is bizarre bizarre to me and I'm going to be following this case so y'all let me know what y'all think before we go any further I did want to stop and thank today's sponsor upside every single year we go I'm going to save more money and I'm going to spend less but how are we supposed to save more and spend less when everything is so inflated right now even things like the essentials like gas and groceries i mean every single time i go to the grocery store i am blown away at the cost for like maybe even three bags of groceries it is insane well with upside you can earn cash back on your purchases like gas groceries and even going out to eat i've been using upside for quite a while now and it is super easy to use all you got to do is download the free upside app sign in and then it's going to show you right from where you are with your phone all of the deals that you can get with using upside upside is like my little secret weapon because i've already got to buy gas okay my husband's got to buy gas we've got to buy groceries and every now and then we do like to go out to eat as well and with upside i'm already purchasing gas i'm already buying groceries so all i've got to do is let the upside app know that yes i went to the store and i made my purchase and then let my upside app know that i have paid and then boop after the processing is done cash money goes right into my upside account and from there i can transfer it to just about any place i want to including my bank account to get started all you got to do is download the free upside app use my promo code christina randall and you can get an extra 25 cents back for every gallon on your first tank of gas so once again all you got to do is download the upside app or click the link down in the description box use my code christina randall and you can start saving more cash back today thanks again upside so let's talk about hannah collins so hannah collins absolutely beautiful young woman she was 30 years old and living in jackson mississippi with her mother and her five-year-old son according to hannah's facebook she studied radiology at holmes community college and briefly worked at a smoothie king hannah's mother described hannah as a very beautiful caring gentle young woman she said that she was brought up in the church and that she was very smart, artistic, and outgoing. Now, according to relatives, Hannah went to LA in June of this year of 2023, and she was supposed to return back home in August of 2023, which I have questions because she's got a five-year-old son, but, but we're gonna get there, okay? And on August 1st is when Hannah turned 30 years old, and then on August 7th, she spoke to her family back home in Mississippi. Now, that was the last time, allegedly, that Hannah's family had heard heard from her. Well, then on August 13th, something super weird happened. A homicide investigation was started when Hannah's body was found wrapped in plastic wrap. According to the Los Angeles Police Department, officers responded to a home in the 2200 block of Wall Street around 1.15 a.m. This call came in from a woman who said that she had smelled a distinct smell coming from her son's bedroom and she thought it was gas. She saw, thought that there was some sort of like gas going on in there, gas leak, gas can something but it was a strong smell so she went into her son's room to investigate she's looking around in the room she's picking up blankets she's opening you know closet doors and then she looks under her son's bed and this is where she found the giant 
plastic wrap and she realized that there was a young woman inside of it. The body would later be identified as Hannah Collins and Hannah was indeed pronounced dead at the scene when paramedics arrived. They say it's not clear how long Hannah has been deceased and her cause of death hasn't been released yet. Not only is it a lot to envision being a mother and smelling gas coming from your child's room and going in there and searching and looking under the bed and finding what she found, but to make it even more weird, her son was nowhere to be found. Now, her son is described as a 26-year-old Hispanic man. They have not released his name, his identity, his picture. Like, huh? What? what how? Not even we're looking for this man for questioning. There is a 26-year-old man that is out there somewhere that had Hannah's body under his bed wrapped in plastic wrap and we don't even know who it is. It could be the guy working at your local restaurant. It could be the person, you know, selling you candy at the gas station. It could be your Uber driver for all we know because it has not been released who the person is. And I find that really strange. And investigators have not released any information on how Hannah knew this man or why she was there or if she knew him or anything about the correlation. And it seems like Hannah's mom is pretty upset about it too. And I would be as well. I mean, this isn't, it, how does she get there? How does she get wrapped up in this situation? What happened? Now they are waiting again for the autopsy and the toxicology report to come back. And I do think that that is going to give some clarity on some things. Was it an OD? The medical examiner said that official cause of death could take four to six months. So it could be a while, but I hope that they're looking for the young man and the mother, I mean, I can't imagine. I mean, I would be so spooked knowing that even I was in the house and what happened and these questions and where's my son and all of that. Hannah's mother, who asked to not be named, told the media that she was informed of her daughter's death by the medical examiner's office at around 8.15 on August 14th. She also said, someone murdered my daughter. That's homicide. Someone wrapped her in plastic wrap. Someone did that to her. I don't understand why his name is being kept a secret. She was talking about the 26 year old. She went on to say, I don't even know how long she was deceased. Did his mother give him time to run and then call the police? Something isn't right here. And I can understand her mother having like all of these questions and feeling like something's not right. There's pieces that are missing in this because it's obvious that they are. However, an article did come out by the New York Post by somebody that allegedly was friends with Hannah or knew Hannah and talked about how loving and kind and gentle she was, but that Hannah did end up going down a path of substance use. Now, I don't know if that is true or not. The toxicology report is going to come out. And so we don't know if this was a full on you know, murder and then him trying to cover it up by putting her under the bed or if he had her in his home with him and they were taking something and she OD'd and he freaked out, wrapped her up and put her under the bed. No matter what, this person, we need to find out about this person. However, I did want to say that I have seen, especially in the past couple years, friends, you know, I'm on Facebook with people that I was friends with all the way, you know, in middle school that I've known for a very long time, friends that I would never, ever, ever expected to even be on that path that have OD'd. And it has been this epidemic of Fent that is going around and people that is just shocking. It's like literally every time you open up your Facebook, it's, it's almost like another person has passed away due to this epidemic. And it could be somebody thinking that they're just, you know, getting whatever it is. And then the next thing you know, they, they're dead. And so I am curious if that was it, but no matter what, we need to find out why did this, why is she wrapped up? Why was she under the bed? Where is this guy? Who is this guy? And is there more to the story? Does the mother know more or was the mother just shocked? And you know, just so many questions, so many questions about this situation. So what do y'all think about this situation? What do you guys think about the fact that this 26 year old male is not being named and there's no photos or there's no person of interest or, you know, we're looking for this person for questioning. Is that, that I think that's probably what makes this the most bizarre to me is the fact that we don't even know who this person is and their name hasn't even been released. So 
What do you guys think? Let me know what you guys think down below. Other than that, I love you guys. Thank y'all for being here and I'll see y'all in the next video. Love you guys. Bye.